what this is Mama and I's both of each other video. So welcome to this video. This is the specialties video that everybody wants to watch. <laughs> so before we start, guess what? I always wanted this to happen. I'm probably gonna find a down transfer or something, but here's my friend. Well, somebody like say like do it like do have to check on the other side, but like Moses <laughs> to like just to grab it. Then here's what I found, but it's on because now I'll show you this. Hi everybody, welcome to our channel, Ashley's Treasure, and I got another haul to share with you. A couple weeks ago, when we were up north, um, it was a rainy day, so we were going to go to this antique shop, but they were closed. So instead of going there on the way back, we ended up stopping at the um, Salvation Army, and um, we were just looking around, and all of a sudden my son found something that he wanted so, 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 so bad, because he is into... Um, dino Charge. Yes, Power Rangers Dino Charge. It's a specific dino or Power Ranger team. And they stopped. They only have two seasons. They went. Their last season was back in 2016. So it's like older than he is. And it is impossible to find any of the toys at all. And they're like really expensive because, you know, they don't sell them anymore. Like the only place you could get them was like Toys R Us. And all Toys R Us's are out of business too. So couldn't believe this like I was looking on one side with like art stuff and he was looking at his toys with his grandpa and all of a sudden his eyes got so big he like didn't even talk to Poppy he just ran to me he's like mama mama you gotta see this and I think it's a dino charge and my my dad had no idea what was going on we ran to the um, container full of toys and all of a sudden it showed one of their toys for 99 cents it just happened to be that dino charge and he was so happy because um he's been really good lately and it was really helping me out and because of being good um my husband got him like this little toy that goes with it okay. and it just we actually ordered this before he found this gun <laughs> and so it just had happened to be a coincidence so, like how we were able to find that it was just like meant to be and just can't believe it and he's so proud of himself that he found it and and also this is a dino charger Mm-hmm. Yeah, because these little, because it makes noises and it lights up and then you put these things inside of it and it makes even different noises, right? Yeah, and I'll show you everyone. <laughs> so, like, Sorry, he's so excited. He just has to well, show you. I have spikes on it while well, I spike, well, well, last off spikes last year. So, you put, the so list goes in here. If you put it the other way, that won't make any noises. So, you put it this way. And you twist it too. That even makes this noise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. Go have fun. But yes, I, he just had to share it with you because he was just so happy. But <laughs> let's get to the art stuff. <laughs> Um, I found this little bag of stuff. It was for $3.19 and of course it was stapled up together and I wasn't sure, you know, if it was worth it or not, but I found like I could see there was like a bunch of different types of tags in here and then I saw that there was some Tim Holtz stuff in here so I thought I was trying to sum it up, you know, add it up to see if it was worth the $3.19. And I ended up giving in and getting it and I'm really glad I did because all the goodies that I found in it. Um, it had some of the foam dots, which, yeah, not a big deal. Um, I found some of these in here. There's a heart one and a butterfly one, and they got, like, silver, gold, and, like, that copper color. And um, I'm pretty sure they got these at Hobby Lobby because it's got the clearance thing on. But, um, yeah, you, like, push them into paper. They, e they even had the um, tool, too, but they had that separate. But I didn't think I needed the tool to pin these in because I don't know it kind of reminds me of Brad's a little bit I can just put a little hole or just press it right into the paper it has two different hearts and it has two different um, butterflies so I thought it was really cute and then they had these like project lives which is three by four I believe yeah three by four 
And I liked all the fun colors in here, you know, all these suns and um, it's like kind of like everyday things. And I liked all the bright colors, like it had all these type of colors. It kind of gives that spring slash summer vibes. So I can definitely use these for, you know, framing, you do scrapbooking cards, you know, possibilities are always endless with these. And these are also good for adding into junk journals. So it wasn't too bad. And then they got the um, 4x8 or 4x6. They got some 4x6. And some of them are like the same, but obviously you know how it goes this way and then this way. In the sun. But they were really cute. Mom, Rainbow. Great day. There were some clear stickers. And these were all like Mother Day. Mother's like theme, you know. And they got, it's all black and it's got some gold foil in it. It had this um, photo, or studio g uh paper pack six by six and it had all these fun spring colors in it and it hasn't even opened you can tell because of the sticker which i'm going to open and see what they look like yeah never even used it. the whole thing should be in there are these one sided yeah so look at all those fun spring bright colors I like those butterflies, but these are all the bright, fun colors that are in it. It's got like <laughs> these blue zebra prints. It's got a lot of bright rainbow colors, so. So that's really cool. I got a whole pack in there. Never been open. Try making the, like a mini album with those bright colors. I could possibly use some of those um, Project Life, you know, to add. And then I found this that was in there, which was originally from Hobby Lobby for $4.99. And they, whoever had this got it for sale for $2.99. So, and it's Seven Gypsies, which, do they, did they discontinue? I can't find anything Seven Gypsies anymore. But this has 12 pieces. They're like journal pages. And they look really nice. I didn't even open it yet. Okay, so they all have this on the back. And they got different things on the front. Looks like you get two of each. Those would be nice to like cut out for labels. But yeah, and then you can like journal in the back of it because they're all all have the same backing to it. That's pretty. Little girl. Has all the months. This one I really like. Um, just got some random paper, um, it had these in it, it has like, um, uh, seems kind of like different seasons, like, uh, this one has leaves, and then it's got like a bigger leaf in the back, and then these ones has all pumpkins and squash, there's like a bunch of them in here, and then there's like these apples, like a bigger apple in the back, and then like these ones with the trees, and like a bigger tree in the back. There's like a bunch of those in there. Don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I'm sure I'll figure out. I'll most likely add them with junk journals. Um, they got bigger uh, foam dots, sticky foam dots. Um, what are these? Oh, apparently mini glue dots. That's never even been opened. I don't know if the sticky still works. Um, two cards. They're white, but they're like glossy, and they got like you can see it they're like embossed you see that it's pretty seems like somebody was making a Mother's Day card by the Peters whoever the, P the Peters family is <laughs> um, what else oh these were in there these were the things that were the Tim Holtz that were originally five dollars and they got it for three and so adding all this up you know for three nineteen, it's not too bad. Sorry about the crinkles, um, but yeah, it's like an album. I don't know how this works. It's not creased there, so how in the world? Here we go. So 
so I can make these into junk journals. It already has, you know, the cover ready for you. So, hmm, these are kind of cool. And it's got like that age look granted. I know they're not old because they're Tim Holtz, but I wonder, I don't remember ever seeing these. But it's got that fabric feel to it. Um, these are back in 2013. They're just um, worn covers. A worn cover to use to create a custom book by adding a ring binder and memorabilia. So yeah, I remember seeing those ring binder things that you add to it, but I think I can do it without the ring binder. But those are actually pretty cool and sturdy. So I got two of those of the same exact. And then um, these are what got me was um, all these different types of tags, especially this one. I saw there's a bunch in there. And I've never heard of this brand before. Um, American Tag Company. I've never seen them. I love this one. Yeah, this was originally $6 and they got it for $3.59. And then I got it <laughs> for less than that. But they never been opened. But these have like actual, like, they're actual wood tags. And it has like four different shades. Like you see this like really like almost white wood. And then this um, darker wood. And then this really dark one. And then this soft one back here. So it's got like three different types of wood in here. And you get two tags of each. And they already have the um, uh, metal eyelets in it. Which I like. So that is so awesome. I wish I could, there were more in here than just those because I'm going to be hoarding that. And then they had these in here that was originally six and they got it for $3.59. But um, it looks like there are six different ones in here, tag envelopes, and they got like the holes in there. And then, you know, got the closure here. So it looks like, looks like you got two big ones. I can't tell if those are the same size or if that one's a smaller one in the front. The other ones are all the same size. And they look like they're all the other ones are the same size. So that's pretty cool. So I get two big ones and then four smaller ones. And then this one I really like. It has so much um, like different types of tags. Yeah, sorted styles. There's supposed to be 16 in here. I think I'm gonna open this one. Yeah, they got this one was cheaper. This one was originally three dollars, and they got it for dollar seventy nine. And it's got more pieces. So here's an inventory tag. I really like that. And you, it's perforated here, so you can tear it too. And then um, date inventory, and it's got the carbon thing on there too. That's really cool. So I like the same, but this one's got the um, carbon thing on there, but this one doesn't. Um, got an orange tag, a red tag. Um, this was one of those little envelopes. I love those things you can put in them. Um, here's a little yellow tag, and it's even got one of the little ring thingies on there. So that's pretty cool. Here's a bigger green one. It's got some ribbon or string on it. Uh, there's a ticket. I love these mini, mini ones. Oh, it's got purple string on it. This one's perforated too to tear for prices. And got some of these. This one doesn't have a string on it. Oh, this one's like purple vellum, like you can see through it. That one's pretty. That's cool. Um, sale price tag. Another teeny tiny one. So yeah, it's got a, just every one, all, all of them are different in their own way. That's really cool. So you don't have any duplicates in it. Wish they still made those. Have to look at their website. Because I think it said they had a website. Yeah, the americantag.net. So instead of .com, it's .net. And that's all I got in this bag. So that wasn't bad at all, I don't think. I think it was worth the $3.19 for all of that. And then I got this cute little book. Um, I've seen other ones of these at a dollar store. But I think I got this for 50 cents, I think, because of being in the children's stuff. I can't remember right exact. But um, in the back, these are originally $4.95. So I could be wrong. But 
I really like this one because I want to do like a woodland themed junk journal and the pictures in here were so cute. I love the fawn in here. The, it's called Fawn at the Woodland, woodland Way. Um, sorry, I had to turn the AC off. It's like super loud. Um, but yeah, apparently this was donated and they didn't want it anymore. <laughs> but um, I wanted it. So, and it's 1994, so it's not that old. But this is so cute. I so want to cut that out. It's adorable. It is a little glossy. You can see like it glaring the light. But there's such cute little pictures. And I thought these would be great to cut out and use as little tags and stuff. I thought about possibly like fussy cutting like around here. And use this as like a little pocket, maybe. That deer is so adorable. But yeah, so I'll definitely use this side since there's nothing on here. I'll use this side. Yeah, I'll use this side. And then this would be a great, you know, picture too right here. And actually, these aren't a bad size. Like, some of these I might be able to, like, make cards. Like that. That's so pretty. And you could do, like, your saying here. This one's not bad. I wouldn't use this one because the does the mommy butts in the way blocking the feet so I'll definitely use this side and that one and then definitely use this one the mom's head is blocked so I'll use this one that one's not bad yeah I'll definitely use this side I don't want to use crows but yeah so every page I got pretty much something to cut out see that is gorgeous so cute use that one and that one this would be a great one to fussy cut out too and I could possibly use it as a pocket with the chickadees so yeah every page I'm going to use one side or the other so that was definitely worth it I found a couple golden books um, this one is called baby farm animals it's not the old version of it you can tell from here but um, I love the illustrator that does this um, Garth Williams is one of my favorite illustrators for the Golden Books. Does amazing jobs. Um, this was originally $2.99. Trying to see what year this one is. It's not that old. The latest date I'm finding on here is 1987, which could be because it says US it costs $2.99 and now they cost $4.99. So that could could be about right. Being 1987 because I don't see any Roman numerals on here but um yeah it looks like it like wasn't even used but the pictures are really cute normally with golden books I normally you know use the whole book and go off from that but this one I think I might just use the pictures instead of just having it like a baby animal theme I don't know maybe I could maybe I could make this a baby um album because of being all baby animals but there's some of the animals I like more, like that black sheep, you gotta admit, it's a, it's a little scary. The, the kitty cat is a lot cuter. And then the bunny, the guinea pigs, the donkey. <laughs> I'll definitely use the ducky side. I love those ducklings. The piggy. I love those puppies. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna have to use those puppy ones for the doggy books. I'm gonna be doing doggy junk journals and those two pictures are too stinking cute. I'm gonna have to. So I think I'm gonna use these pictures individually. Oh, and the baby swans. I didn't see that. The baby horse, I love the horse. Oh my gosh. That's too stinking cute. So yeah, it was definitely worth it. And then I found this one. Um, I've never seen one bigger like this. Like, look at the size difference. Like, they're the same height, but see how much wider it is? It's like a couple, like, just over an inch wider. That's weird. I've never seen one like this, shaped like this. But apparently, it was sold in Kmart back in the days for $1.27. So, <laughs> you can tell it's old. Is there, didn't Kmart's completely go out of business? I don't know if there's any Kmart's left anymore. But, um,. Got a barcode in the front. Let me see. Yeah, they call it a big little golden book. This one is called The Little Raccoon Takes Charge. And the pictures were so stinking adorable. And again, it looks like it was hardly even used. Um, copyright 1986. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else. So that's very possible. It could be a, from made in 1986. That seems very, very possible. 
And I don't think I saw, yeah, I didn't see any, you know, bands, coloring or anything in here. I'll definitely have to read it because I never, I never heard of this story before. And it's, it's so adorable. I love the raccoon and the chipmunks in it. It's just too cute. No, oh, there's a froggy. There's a crayfish. Oh my god, there's a beaver. A little mushroom and a ladybug. A turtle crossing the road. It looks really cute. So we'll have to read that before I cut that up. And then I found two of these Walt Disney ones. I thought it was really awesome. They were like stacked on top of each other. And it's the only two left that they had that I could find. One of them is From Whales to Snails, and one of them is Real Life Monsters. This one's Volume 8 and Volume 6. And, of course, they got some scribbles and stuff. They've been through some, but it's really cool. I love the texture of it. I don't know how old these ones are. I think these were in the 80s. Um, let's see. Ten, twenty, thirty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty three. 50, 60, 70, 83. It looks like 1983. Isn't that right? 1950, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3. If I can do my Roman numerals right. Um, but yeah, they were so cute. I liked a lot of the animals in it. I don't know if I would make it like a Disney theme, but I de definitely think I might use some of these animals in it. But um, I'm going to have to read it to my son a couple times before I cut it up. But I love the whales and stuff in here. And there's a dolphin and orcas. And they don't necessarily look Disney. It's like some of them, you know, has this. And then these ones are definitely like Disney character looking. So I'll definitely be using like these ones. But they got such a variety of animals in here. Which is really cool. <laughs> oh, there's seahorses. So yeah, they're simple, but they're still cute. But not too cartoony. Some seashells, definitely cut those out. Yeah, that was worth it. And then here's the second one, uh, Real Life Monsters. This one I'll have to use for when I make a thing for my son because I know there's a lot of dinosaurs in this. This one looks like the same year, 1983. But there's dragons, there's a bunch of dinosaurs. That's kind of a vicious <laughs> picture to be having that uh, Mickey Mouse book, but this is a lot better. I'll be using these. Can I see? What? Yeah, there's dinosaurs in here. And there's Pluto and Pluffy. Yeah, what kind of dinosaur is that? Pterodactyl. What do you think that is? T. What's that? A dinosaur. Stegosaurus. I don't like dinosaurs really much. I love them. Bron Triceratops, Brachiosaurus. Nope, it's in the water. Oh, Plasiosaurus. Mm -hmm. Because it was going in the water. And then there's some like, then it starts going to like lizards. Different types of lizards. <laughs> Lots of lizards and then snakes. There's a lot of reptiles. And there's Mickey Mouse. Okay, apparently this is the king snake. It won't hurt you at all. This king snake helps keep poisonous rattlesnakes and rats and mice away from houses. So that's actually a good snake. <laughs> Crocodiles, alligators, turtles, froggies, so amphibians and reptiles. So it's not bad. It's cute. And this is the rest of the collections of them. I only got six and eight. Yeah, real life monsters and from the um, whales to snails. And then I found this um, picture encyclopedia for kids. Um, it's the DK picture encyclopedia. And um, I like the old ones more because, you know, they're not photo. They're more illustrated. But I thought, you know, it's not bad. And the pages in here and they had a lot of nice learning things in here. I like like the smaller images like this um, bird here, you know, to cut out. You know, this cute little goldfish here. These dinosaurs and tigers. I had a pretty decent variety of things. Um, and then it all goes alphabetical like this. Like these are all things about Africa, agriculture, air, you know, aircraft. And I love this amphibians one. I'll definitely have to use some of those. The froggies are so cute. 
um, animal families. I can definitely use some of those animals and cut them out. You know, animals in danger. I'll use those pictures. Um, animal houses and um, more animals, all these fishies and stuff. So there's some really good pictures in here. But I like the short, simple little facts in here too for kids. It makes it easier for beginner learners, you know, and all the different places around the world. It's got some things about New Zealand, Australia, bicycles, you know, birds. I'll definitely have to cut some of them out. Birds of the world. Oh, and these butterflies. That one was really nice. Some desert animals, dancing, and of course the dinosaurs. I definitely have to use that for, I need to make a journal over my son and just cut out all these dinosaurs for him. <laughs> um, we got some eggs. Um, fossils, fruits, grassland animals human body. Ooh, insects. There's a bumblebee. There's a cute little ladybug. That's not too bad. Oh, that sunflower, because I do want to do one on sunflowers, too. I have some plant, different journals planned. Ooh, there's some dolphins there, a beagle, living things. Mammals. Mammals of the world. Definitely gonna use those dolphins. So yeah, it's not bad. Look, the ranger controlling it. Um, there's some planets. That's really cool. Plants. Whoa, empires. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> wow. Rainforest. Reptiles, reptiles around the world, like the river animals, you even got little snails, the rivers and lakes, uh, rocks and minerals, oh, that is so cool, sea animals, this is a really cool picture, that's the seashore, like, you know, the shore and then what you see underwater, what's living, that's really cool, I love those seashells and the seagull, I'll definitely have to cut them out. Ships and boats. Huh. So yeah, this isn't bad. That's really cool. Definitely worth it. I think it was like a dollar. This one, I love that author and does all the illustrations too. Jan Brett does all the illustration and always does, um, you know, the pictures on the side. And um, I think I can't remember if I ever read this one or not. I remember seeing this one, but this one is about the first dog, and it looked really cute. And I, of course, always love the. Um, always says those are like borders around the book. Love those. They're always so pretty. Like, look at all those. That's what Jan is well known for, with all the books. Ugh, they're so pretty. But I don't think I'll be able to cut this up yet. I think I'm going to have to read this to my son a couple times. Because it looks really cute. I love that bear. That is so cute. But it's how the first dog came along. How they got that bond between each other. I'll have to read that. looks really cute. And then he wanted this one. It's so cute. It's, uh, instead of United States of America, it's United Tweets of America. All 50 states are all 50 state birds, <laughs> which is really cute and really educational, actually. <laughs> and it has adorable pictures. Like, um, the bald eagle is like the narrator telling the story. And they've got all these, like, one-liners from all these birds around the state. All the state birds. It's hilarious. And, like, what are all these sayings? Like, move it you're too slow what's your problem aloha aloha and uh wait till you hear my hello and then this is no crow zone thinking that that one's a crow and dude you're like totally blocking and catch you later because it's got the bug flying away and we're birds why are we walking <laughs> 
and then howdy y'all it's just hilarious all the cute little sayings but it does each state and then the bird and it also shows other facts too like um state flowers state insects um sports and it's just really fun things about each state to know and they got really cute pictures in here too it's just hilarious some of the sayings in here Like, this one's like, want, is, wants more room. This one's like, whatever, could care less. I didn't know, like, I knew a lot of them state birds were um, the cardinals, but I didn't know that many. <laughs> it's really hilarious. But yeah, each one of them's different and has their own facts and stuff. It's so hilarious. Like, um, <laughs> this one, they got, like, all the presidents, you know, looking like car or cardinals. And, um, this cardinal saying, like, hey, you can't claim him. We're his home state for George Washington. And then <laughs> this one, um, the American Goldfinch says, <laughs> you may have had Washington, but... We are Washington, because got, they got a picture of Washington, too, but as a golden finch. It's so funny. It's fun to read. But, yeah. So cute. And this one was hilarious. This one's uh, Trout, Trout, Trout. Um, it's a fish... It's all about fishes, and um, my son has been getting into fishing because we go fishing a lot when we go up north with his papa, and it shows like all these hilarious pictures of all these different type of fish. It's just so hilarious. Like it names, um, you know, all the types of fish, what they are, but it's just so cute. It's funny. Like the smoke eye salmon, the Arctic char. <laughs> Their face expressions just crack me up. Like this one's eating this one, which is eating this one. The moon eye, the walleye, and the gar. But I thought this would help him, you know, get a better, from the pictures, help get a better idea what they're called, you know, which ones are which, to tell them apart. Which is so funny. The sunfish, mosquito fish, the eel. Oh my god. It's just so funny. The images in here, like this one, his hair's like getting done. Freckle belly, Latin, Popeye, Shiner, Stone Cat, Blind Cat. <laughs> oh my god, it's just so funny. I love the illustration in this. Here's a bass. It's so cute. And I love these ones, how they're like all grooved up to look like a giant fish and scaring the uh, northern pike away. And I love this picture of this little boy with all the fishies. And then at the end, it has like a better description of the fish too. So it was so cute. We had to get it. And then he wanted this one, this little penguin one. Which I thought would be really cute to do like a penguin winter themed journal. I never thought of that. But these pictures are so stinking cute. I even like the like borders around them too. There's a couple of pages like that. This one's got little footprints. But I love those soft colors. So this I'll definitely in the future have to use to make a junk journal. It kind of reminds me of Happy Feet too. <laughs> this one is a 2001 so it's not old. And then we've read a couple books from Snap the Cat and thought this would be a cute little one for him to read. And then we found some Scooby Doo ones too but they're like beginner reader ones. So he loves Scooby Doo so this would be a good way to help teach him how to read. They have, what is this one? I thought they had them numbered because there's like a whole collection of these. They're like Phoenix Readers Program. This one's book one, book three, and book ten we were able to get in there. And then this, I've seen this before. It's 101 Things You Need to Know and it has really good information on there that, you know, everything from um, decimal points to cells to presidents to, you know, um, the planets, um, you know, it's just so much stuff in here so it doesn't hurt you know it's a little advanced for my son right now because he's only four but some of these things it doesn't hurt to start getting them into to understanding you know so this was really awesome actually to get I think it was like 49 cents 
And then I found this drawing book, How to Draw Animals, and they had it for 99 cents. But I love the animals in here. But I don't understand, like, there's pictures of orangutans in here, and each time they scribble it out. I don't know why that person did that. But these pictures were so pretty, and I thought about cutting them out. And I also liked it because it showed, you know, some facts about that animal and then, you know, how much risk they're in. Like, this one's low risk. Um, the giant panda are in high risk. So it has some cute little things, but I love the pictures on the bottom, which I want to cut out and use. And, like, one of the pages was torn out, the one for the elephant. It's a really pretty rhino. Yeah, see the orangutan? They scribbled him out again. What's wrong with the orangutan? What did he do? Why did he deserve to be scribbled out? But I love that zebra. It's so pretty. And then even like the covers, you know how they have these in green? Those would be cute to cut out as well. So for 99 cents, I thought that wasn't so bad. And hey, maybe I could draw my own animals in them too. <laughs> Oops. This was just a bag. I thought about reusing these. You know, you always get those from your prescription, you know? So I could probably repurpose them. Of course, I'll put something over because I don't want to read Walgreens. And then I found this um, Christmas book. And um, I do love Christmas, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Christmas. It's one of the favorite holidays to celebrate. But I hate winter. <laughs> I am a summer person. I absolutely hate winter to deal with all the snow and everything. But um, I'm never ready for winter. <laughs> but I saw this one and it was just so pretty. I like because there's no photos in there. It was all illustrations. And it's um, a family holiday tradition. And you journal in it, you know, all your traditions. And so I thought this would be great to make um, like a, um, what do you call those? Those, not project lice, but, oh my God, I can't even think of it right now. Those Christmas ones. You know, every day you write down all your the stuff you did. But um, anyways, this was made in 1995, so it's not old. But I love all these snowflakes, all the illustration in here. And um, she wrote it for her dad, who always knows where to find the best red berries. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. But each one of these little illustrations are so adorable. I love the artwork. There are a lot of um, quotes, you know, poems, sayings, um, like little like stories, you know. Um, and then there were, here, you'd like journal, like, um, our favorite, our family's favorite kind of Christmas tree. And then our, our famous, our favorite, oh my god, I cannot talk. And then our favorite Christmas tree story. And then, um, there's like a little saying here too about birds, Christmas tree. And there's just, just all these images are just so gorgeous. I gotta do something with these. But every page has something. Deck the halls, home sweet home, and there's also a lot of recipes in here too, like how to make a gingerbread house and royal icing uh, gingerbread man. So these must have been the recipes that she used to use. Hot spiced cider, mocha eggnog. So this would be great to make a journal out of with all these, you know, it's already got it ready for you and what to write in it. Because a lot of people sometimes they love journals, but they just never know what to write in them. So this kind of gives you ideas what to write about. So I thought that was so awesome. So much to do in here and all the pictures. It was, it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. I think I paid 99 cents for it. Look at that. I love that picture. That's so pretty with the reindeers. Slay Santa Claus. It's a short story. And there's that picture and yeah the author is also the one that did all the illustrations as well she was the author and illustrator roast turkey oh my goodness it's kind of getting me hungry but that was worth it and there is the um author and illustrator that her name is donna green and then um i end up getting this one this one is um a birthday blessing and it has like all different types of arts and it just has like different birthday sayings in it really but I loved the different types of illustrations from different artists 
like these ones right here like look how gorgeous that is I love these girls and luckily this is in the back too so because I really like this side so I have to use this for something it is pretty big too um, but this was a present with love to Sandra Lee from Pamela I don't know what her last name was K Pamela K and love sharing so much wonderful memories July 12th 2001 so it was a gift to somebody and apparently that person didn't want it anymore but um yeah I just I love this one so much some of these I almost want to like take out and frame But this was back in 1998. But it just has such a variety of different types of art. Like this one, it reminds me, what was the girl in uh, Popeye? Wasn't her name like um, some olive? It's gonna bug me. Olive oil, was that her name? I can't remember, but she looks so much like her. But um, I do like the handwriting too, but I mostly got it for all the different types of pictures in here. And no two are alike. But could also use these for cards. I love this one because this girl's like looking in her fish tank. And some of these fish we have, like the beta and stuff. And there's even a little snail in there. So cute. We love our fish. Our aquarium. But yeah. So pretty. That is gorgeous. I love this one because she looks so free and happy. I love that. Like letting the wind take her wherever she wants to be. This one's really pretty too. So yeah, that was definitely worth it, I thought. I'll definitely be cutting that up. <laughs> and then I got this one. Um, also because there's like pictures in it and I end up really liking the cover. Um, this was about hugs for friends. Um, this was a gift to somebody but I love the cover on here. Like look at those colors. I am obsessed over that. That is so gorgeous and it's a good size too. And it's hardcover of course. But um, apparently this was a gift for somebody back in 2000 saying I am here for you if you need me love Betty but apparently that person need, didn't need Betty because she got rid of the book uh, but um, yeah I like this because it looks like it's textured but it's not but each side has like picture background like this you know you can see the bridge so some of them repeat but there are some like these picture frames I thought these would be awesome to fussy cut out and put your own pictures in it and stuff you know but this has like lily pads in the background. I haven't read any of the stains yet. Maybe some of those I might use. And I like this because it's shaped like a heart. A lot of them are like, um, there's a lot of quotes in here, but there are a lot of parts from Bibles. But yeah, see all these pretty pictures in here? That's what kind of got it for me. And then the cover. So I don't really need any more books for covers right now. I got enough right now. I don't want to get too carried away, but I love this one. And then because of having all these pictures in with it, I thought it was worth it. See, some of them are different, but a lot of them are the same. Has that bridge a lot and the lily pads. I like this one because it's got like a cliff and two girls it looks like looking at the ocean. I don't know if that's just white caps there, if that's supposed to be like rocks or ships in there. But yeah, it was worth it. There's some really cute pictures in here. And again, the cover is such gorgeous colors. I'll have to do this as like a um, beach theme because of the colors in here. Love it. And then I found this old one in children's books, and it's actually a teacher's edition. And I wasn't sure because I read the title. It says The Barking Cat and the other stories, and it looked a little scary. But um, then I saw that it was a Reader's Digest that actually has multiple stories in here, so it's not just about that story. But um, just so you know, it's not a barking cat. It's actually just a little dog. But, spoiler alert, sorry about that. 
But, um, oh yeah, well, how old was this? I think it was like in the 60s or something. Um, and yeah, it's kind of more yellowed here. You, I don't think you can see it through the camera, but the writing here is like dark, like stained on here. You can see it aged. It's so funny, but the white part is still white, but where the black writing was, writing was, is like that aged color. It's so funny how it did it, how it turned out like that. Um, yeah, this was, uh, printed in 1966. And then there's a teacher's info, and then it says it has a lot of really cool pictures in here. Like this one I thought was really cool. I don't know if I want the guy falling on ice, but I thought, you know, just cutting out this part was so pretty with those colors. But the illustrations were really cute. A lot of them are like colors like this, but some of them are just like one color, you know? It's black and white with one color in it. But there are some beach ones. I love that. And here he is swimming with sharks <laughs> and then um, swimming with a friend and then they think they're getting attacked again but really it wasn't sharks it was dolphins and then there's like this western you know riding pony with some cute pictures but this kid <laughs> looks a little funky like I don't know with his I don't know his eyes are so funky and <laughs> but uh, it looks like a cute story I'll have to read some of these before I cut it up. But I definitely want like those beach ones and stuff. And there's like one about a beaver. It has all these cute beavers. So I can use that in the woodland theme journals. Like these little duckies. Uh, there's one about a manatee. Um, and this one's about, it's only a rock. <laughs> so I think this was the one where he started collecting rocks. Oh, there's a doggy. I might have to use that. Um, this one has about, like, collecting leaves, and there's different leaves in here, so I might cut those out. And there's a cute little owl. That looks just like, have you ever read the book, um, Sam and the Firefly? Because that looks just like that. It seems like the same illustrator. I'll have to find the book. I love that story, Sam and the Firefly. We've read that a million times. But, yeah, that was definitely worth it. And I love the feeling of the cover. And it's in really great condition, too, for being, you know, since 66. So, it was worth it. I think the cover is what scared people away from getting it. But, it did, but I'm glad because then I got it. And then um, I found this one. And I loved the look of this, and so I instantly grabbed it and found out that it was um, 101 Famous Poems. And I just, oh my god, the feeling of this. I love it. It's like this dark blue, midnight blue, and this gold foil, like, um, lettering on here. And it's more aged here, you know? Oh my gosh, I love it. But it's in decent condition. And look at the age of the pages. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I could instantly tell, I opened this up, and I think it's okay to show it because it has, whosoever this was, has their address and stuff on here, but their phone number, they don't do phone numbers by that anymore. So that really shows that how old it is because it was a um, five digit number. And this, it looks like they wrote October 1948, I believe. So it's pretty old. And I love how, because it has like um, craft paper here and it made the paper age even more. And then look at this, you can see the writing. So this black, it looks like a black Sharpie or something, fine tip Sharpie or something, whatever they wrote with, blocked it from um, the color transferring onto this white page. I thought it was so crazy, but look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. And here it says copyright of 1929, which I'm not sure if it really is or not, but it very well could be from, you know, the coloring and everything. And I could also tell from the way it was printed because you can see like it's darker, you know, from pressing it, like when you're stamping, you know, like here it's uh, printed regular, but here you can see it's like a little bit bigger, like it got squished more. Can you see those? So that definitely shows like how it's older. It's not like printed like nowadays, you know. 
So that showed that it had some age. And I also loved how on the bottom, instead of numbering it, they wrote the pages, like page 3, page 31. And it has um, the, um, the writer and then their poem. And then it says when they were born and um, their name too. When they were born and died. And then it has their poem on there, which is really cool. And I did find there was one poem of Whitman in here. I think it was on page 12. Yeah, there is one poem, but I was hoping for one of his other poems to be in there, but I was thinking, because I heard that, like, poems are a good one, too, to add into junk journals. But, um, yeah, and it seems like this page always comes, so it seems like whoever owned this really liked this poem because it keeps opening up to this page. But it's so aged, so beautifully, and I like, you know, the all the facts, you know, it has the picture of the author, too, and then their poem on there. I just thought it was so cool. I don't know, it might take a while for me. Um, see how big of a difference that is between that paper from being like that to that? That's just so awesome. That makes me want to get like craft paper like this. It reminds me of like paper, paper bags from the grocery store, you know? I have to see if they still, any grocery store still uses those and like have it on paper forever and see if it ages like that. But, oh my God, it is so gorgeous that I was so excited to find one with poems in it, but now, like, I'm falling in love with this book that I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut it up because it's so gorgeous. I got the book. Oh, you found it? Yeah. See, Sam and the Firefly. What page is he on? 47. See, there's Sam and the Firefly. That owl reminds me so much of this story. It has that... Thing. It seems like the same illustrator, because the owl looks a lot like it. But yeah, that's one of our favorite stories. It's really funny. I like you, the firefly like you bad words, right? Yeah, the firefly was naughty and making trouble. Yeah. You know, then he got caught, but then his friend Owl, Sam the Owl, helped him. But it is a really cute story. If you've never read it before, you need to read it. Yeah. But it is a really cool book. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I love this so much. I think it'll be a while till I can urge myself enough to cut it apart because it's so gorgeous. And I love the aging of the pages. I love it. I love the feeling and everything. So I'm going to hoard this for a little bit. And then we went another time and found some more goodies. Of course, I end up getting more books. Um, <laughs> my son wanted to go there again to make sure there wasn't any more Dino Charge stuff there, and we didn't find any. But um, found this really cute book, White Rabbit's Color Book. And it's really cute because it shows, you know, how certain colors, you know, makes colors like yellow and red makes orange. It's really cute. And then red and blue makes purple. And my son loves Easter so much, so it made me think of that. And so I mostly got it for him, but I might use it in the future. And then they had Dr. Seuss's The Nose Book, because we have the knee book, the foot book, the eye book, the ear book. But we don't have the nose book, so we had to get that, which it's not an old one, but it, um, there's no drawing in here, but there are some wrinkles. But we had to add that to our Dr. Seuss collection. Granted, I know this isn't an actual Dr. Seuss book, but yeah, no. And then I found this one, the Life Cycle Library for Young People. They had like three or four different ones. I think they had, um, what was it, two, three, and then like they had like seven and 13 or something. They didn't have the whole collection there. But I looked at the other ones and I didn't really like the images in them. But I liked these ones for some reason. Um, oh, it even has a little card in there. I remember that seeing that too as a kid. I'm trying to remember what deck that was from. That's cute though. It's got the little raccoon. <laughs> so I got three little card in it. Um, let's see. What year is this one? 1969. And... But this one is about like um, how to communicate with other people and like dating advice <laughs> literally there's dating advice in here um you know communicate with your family and um 
friends. Look at these kids, they're so cute. But I love the illustrations in here. They're so cute. And like almost every, actually I think like every page there's like something. I thought this one would be really cool to like fussy cut out here and use it as a page. Cut out like that. Shows how to keep a conversation going. <laughs> And this one looked really cute because they're like dreaming of pirates and playing with a plane. So yeah, some of these illustrations, they're really simple but like really cute. Like that one looks really nice. It's like the boat one. This one, she's like dreaming about like Prince Charming while getting her hair ready. <laughs> uh, dating for girls. This is so funny. And some of the sayings in here too just cracked me up. Where was it? Like this one. Uh, refusing a date. Some girls have difficulty saying no to a date they can't or don't want to accept. And some will say yes, only to the boy who is tall, handsome, or a good dancer. They would rather stay home than go out with a boy who doesn't fit their picture of an ideal date. <laughs> they didn't fit their criteria. They don't think they're good enough. I'm like, sorry for them. And it looks like she's not happy to be dancing with him. But it seems like she's happy because she accepted him. <laughs> but yeah, it was funny. It has really cute. Some of them are just like that, you know, one color going on. Oh, the cards falling out. I let the cards fall out. Ah! And then dating for boys. I thought these pictures were really cute. I might like fussy cut them out and then those two out, possibly them out. And it looked really cute. I like the colors. I keep finding food. I'm like really hungry now finding food. That hamburger kind of sounds good. <laughs> oh, and this one's so cute. Look, they're going on a date. He's got to be so nervous right now with the parents being there. And here he's singing a song to her. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I had a lot of really cute pictures in here. I'm sorry for this kid. Look, he's on a date with his girlfriend and here she's like eyeing up this guy. <laughs> Poor guy. So sorry for him. Here the mom's word as can be. Parents watch the clock. Watch the clock. Mm-hmm. So I didn't know that that's what this <laughs> uh, book was all about, but I liked the illustrations in here. Um, how do you know when it's love? And here they are at night by the light. And then as I go into, oh, this one's cute. I'll definitely use that one. Swimming at the pool. Looks like this guy's like obsessed over this girl. Okay. He's got a bunch of pictures of her. Number oh my. 13 and, and then it goes to like getting married, knowing that you're, that you found the right one and um, starting to have a family. He looks miserable, but she looks happy as can be. <laughs> and like one of them here, she wants to get pots and pans, and yet here he wants to get like a sports car, it looks like. Like, no, we don't need that. We need this. <laughs> so it's so funny. His way of painting compared to her way of painting. I don't know. The pictures in here just made me laugh, and some of the sayings, it was just so funny. I had to get it. And then I found this book, which is... um. Best Loved Fairy Tales, including Mother Goose Selection with Helpful Guide for Parents, published by Parents Magazine. I've never seen or heard of these before, but um, I was looking at all the pictures on here and like there's, you know, Alice in Wonderland here and, you know, they got duckies in here. So I thought maybe the Ugly Duckling and it looks like Peter Rabbit here. Um, that reminds me of the Christmas Carol. You know, there's a bunch of old stories in here. Little Red Riding Hood. But since then, I looked inside. I'm trying to remember the year on this. Yeah, it's got like Pinocchio and stuff on here. Snow White. So I'm wondering if there's more of these because I was reading the contents of all the stories in here. And they're not all in here. And so I looked behind here and there's no number behind there. So I didn't know, you know, how many of these there are. Um, but... Uh, 50, 60. It looks like it's got a Roman numeral, Roman numerals. So it looks like 1963. 
and this looks like volume three. So originally it was copied in 1963, but it says 1974 edition. For the parents' magazines. Um, but um, see, it's got Rumple Steel Skin, uh, Puss in Boots, um, Whittington and his cat. The real princess, that's the one where they have like the pee through the mattresses, you know. Um, Jack and the Beanstalk, the Shoemaker and the Elves, um, the Servant Maid and the Elves, the Wonderful Tar Baby story, I never heard that one. The History of Tom Thumbs, that one's really cute, which is that one right there. Uh, Jack the Giant Killer, that one looks creepy, the pictures in it. Uh, the Husband Who Was to Mind the House. The Emperor's New Clothes, uh, Hansel and Gretel, Snow White, The Ugly Duckling, The Steadfast Tin Soldier, uh, Rapunzel, Why the Sea is Salt, Pinocchio's First Adventure. So those are the stories that's in it. But I liked a lot of it. It's, you know, black and white, but they have like one color to go off from. Like here's the rumple steel skin. I like the big lettering too, so it's obviously for children to read. But I thought maybe I can find some sayings in here. And some of the illustrations are actually pretty cool. <laughs> here's Boots the cat, and I didn't realize there's a person back there. Do you see that person's face? That's scary. <laughs> but we'll have to read some of these stories. The illustrations were really cool, though. You don't see things like that anymore. Like, that one's really nice. That'd be a nice one to cut out. Jack and the Beanstalk. That's when he's silly trading the cow for the beans. And that's when he's getting the hen that lays golden eggs. See, the giant doesn't look too bad there. He doesn't look scary. But when you come to here, he's creepy. He doesn't look anything like he was on the other one. But there's the heart, so I might like keep him out and just, you know, this they wouldn't even know what that is. There's the shoemakers and the elves. That's the tar baby, I think. Uh, Tom Thumb. Oh my god, he's gonna get eaten. Don't eat him. Yeah, like. There's a horsey. Here he's riding a mouse. So we'll have to read some of these stories. Oh, this is that scary one. Jack the Giant Killer. Look, he's just grabbing all these cows and sheep and taking them away. It kind of creeps me out a little. But, um, where's that one picture? It was really cute. This one I thought was kind of cool because it's like all green. And I thought, you know, if you like cut up pieces like here, nobody would know like what it really was and make, you know, tags and stuff out of this. And here's a girl riding a duck or something. I don't know. There's just some really cool pictures. Here's Snow White. That's so cute. I love that picture. The little deer's there. And I could, you know, use this into my woodland theme, you know, cut that in there and they wouldn't even know it's Snow White. Here's the seven dwarfs. They're so cute. Oh, look at them. They're so sad. And then that prince. <laughs> that hair makes him look like a girl. <laughs> That's a funny looking prince. There's the castle. And then the ugly duckling. I like the picture when it turns into a swan. It's really pretty. That's actually cool. That'd be like, could use as like a bookmark kind of. Oh, the poor little ducky. Right there, he looks so sad. And then I love this one. I love that picture. So pretty. I like it being in yellow. And we got a library book of the ugly, ugly duck thing. Mm hmm. This one's kind of cool because it's all yellow and it's like underwater with fishies. That's interesting. Because I do want to do one that's just all yellow. I want to do one like a woodland theme. I'm going to do some doggy ones. Um, 
I was going to do one that's like all yellow, one that's like sunflower themed. I got some planned out and I've been keep stocking up until I get enough. And then this was the Adventure of Pinocchio. So it's not like the normal story of Pinocchio and that, I don't remember seeing Pinocchio looking that way. But um, so yeah, we'll definitely have to read this version of it, the story of it. I'm curious. But yeah, it's really cool, really interesting. Definitely had to get that. And then, hard to believe, I found all these doilies, and um, it was only $2.99, and it said number 23 here, so I thought maybe there's like 23 in here or something, but there's actually more than that. There's 27 diff uh, doilies in here. There are some duplicates in here, like these green ones and stuff, but that's a better deal than I did at the other thrift store, where five of them for $6, but these ones aren't as old. These ones are all the same these green ones which I thought would be good for um actually woodland ones not too bad because being green but like it definitely screams Christmas to me with the dark green that um, feels good mm -hmm. and then these ones they're like super thin I love the feeling of these ones they're so pretty got those um this one you can see is factory made this one's not made by hand this one's made in China I think there was a couple of those yeah, I got a little bundle of those. I think I got like four of those, which is awesome. Or five. Looks like I got five of those ones. And then this one, it looks like it was like handmade, but it wasn't completed. Like they didn't do the center of it yet. Which is actually kind of cool because it makes you think of like a sun. Like you could put a picture or something in there. And then they had this like heart-shaped one. And then this like tiny heart one. So it has a big variety of them. And then this one's more square shaped. Or you can go diamond shaped if you like it that way too. I kind of like it that way. And then I had this little like daisy in there. <laughs> so that's cool. Maybe that's what they were going to put like in the center here. Maybe. I don't know. It could be. Who knows. And then I think all these ones were the same. Yeah. There's like five of these ones. And they're more, um, they're not white. I like that, which makes them look older than they really are. And then this one, and then this one has like kind of like a champagne shimmery look to it, which is really nice. So that was definitely worth $3, $2.99 for that many of them for 27 and having a variety of them and some duplicates too which is nice to have sometimes and that is it that i found at salvation army lots of lots of books um there's a couple other things that were there that i regret that i didn't get and i went there the second time and they were gone go figure but i am glad with what i did get hope you enjoyed this as much as i did if so give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because i still got more to share with you talk to you later bye